Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This week I'm doing a graduation lookbook. I tried to keep in mind that not everyone's graduation gown will be the same color, so I tried to keep the outfits very neutral. Stay tuned till the very end of this video. I do a little hijab tutorial on how to wear your hijab with the cap. So I hope you guys find this lookbook and tutorial helpful, and let's go ahead and get started. I'll go ahead and start with what I have on right now. I have on this beautiful tunic dress top from Amazon, and I thought this was perfect for graduation because it's in that color white. I also thought it was a very good top to be in between like dressy and semi-dressy. This is for all my gals who just want a basic top and pant type of look. So I just paired this with white skinny jeans. These are also from Amazon. It's a very affordable outfit. I think all together this ended up costing me about $60. So I'll link everything down below. But I just thought this was a beautiful feminine top. It comes in a ton of colors. I also have it in this gorgeous pink color and I thought this was so so pretty. This next look is a trendy yet a sophisticated modest set. So you can pair the sleeveless vest with pretty much any top. I tried to pair it with a balloon sleeve blouse or you can even do um, straight basic sleeves. I think it looks beautiful either way. So I will link this down below as well. This next outfit is a very classic graduation look. If you have your wide leg trousers with a beautiful satin blouse, you can never go wrong with this type of look. It always looks polished and feminine and sophisticated so I wanted to include this look. You can definitely untuck the blouse and let it drape over your wide leg pants. Maybe belt around your waist to give it more definition. I love the way that looks. I think it looks so sophisticated and beautiful and elegant. So I have this outfit. The wide leg pants I am a little bit worried wearing it underneath a gown and possibly slipping on a stage so keep that in mind if you go for a wide leg. Try not to go way too wide just to avoid any mishaps but yeah I love this outfit and I'll link it down below. This next look is a jumpsuit. I really wanted to include a jumpsuit because I feel like it's very timeless and effortless. You don't have to bother finding a top and then pants and doing a little set. You just have a all-in-one outfit. It's very very timeless and classic. I picked it up in this black color because it's one of those neutral colors that I think go perfect for graduation. White, black, tan, those are like the colors I was trying to stick to. This last look is your typical boss babe graduation outfit. I have on a beautiful blazer that I tried to play up with a bright color and then I paired it with some high-waisted pants. I chose a blazer because they're so versatile so you can honestly pair it with any bottoms whether that's trousers or high-waisted pants, um, even some satin pants. You can switch it up depending on your liking, maybe even a pantsuit set if that's your vibe. I think they're so versatile and still super trendy and cute so I definitely wanted to include that. If you're going for a more relaxed look, I would recommend choosing a brighter color like maybe a pink or a mint or a baby blue as opposed to a tan or like a black because I feel like that looks a little bit too serious but definitely up to your personal liking. So yeah, those are all the outfits I had. Now let's get into the tutorial. So for the tutorial on how to wear a graduation cap with hijab is actually pretty simple. The first thing is make sure you have a really low bun. If your bun is like centered in the back of your head or even higher up, your cap won't sit well and you'll kind of look like lumpy and tilted and it's not a good look. So make sure your bun is super, super low. The other thing is make sure your under cap is the same color as the hijab that you're going to wear. So everything blends. I have black on for this tutorial. So I put my under cap on and then I'm going to put my hijab on top and I actually have a mirror right here. So I'm going to just place my hijab on my head, not do anything else, just make sure I have like two flaps down the center. Then I'm going to actually take my graduation cap and the second or third tip that I have is to get a really large size. So I actually have an extra large cap here because it will like sit really well over your bun. So what I do is just place this over my head and I'm going to place it kind of like towards the last third of my head so I'm just like pulling it down. So once I have the cap placed on my head, what I like to do is lift it from the back and push my bun underneath. I feel like this is what gives it a very nice look and it doesn't look lumpy. Like everything just like looks smooth and evened out. So once I do that, then I come back to the front of my hijab and I start playing around with it. Personally, I like it like a little bit loose and drapey. I just feel like it looks good. But from here, you can honestly do whatever hijab style you wanted to. And I apologize if the lighting is going in and out. But what I like to do is just like take one flap and just throw it over my shoulder and just drape it over. And that's pretty much it. I just think it looks really effortless but polished. Perfect for graduation. So this is what it looks like from the side. 
and then this is what it looks like from the front. The last thing is to secure your cap to your hijab. So I'm going to use a teeny tiny little pin. These are the ones that come with men's clothing and I'm going to pin in the front as well as in the back and this is just going to secure your cap and make sure it doesn't go away in case it's windy and blowy outside because that's like one of the worst things that could happen. So I'm going to just take the little pin and go in and out maybe two or three times and this will secure it in the front. And if you're worried that this little silver line will show, I have another hack for you. Just take a Sharpie and just color it on top and then it will just look black and you won't be able to tell at all. And lastly, I'm going to take another pin and pin it in the back kind of over my bun. And that is pretty much it. Super simple, but a very secure way to wear your cap with your hijab. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Congratulations to all the 2021 graduates. Wish you all the best on your journey from here on out. And yeah, this is all for this video. I'll see you guys in my next video.